Hey everyone, so in this video, we are going to learn how to use Chakra UI. Uh, one of my subscribers has requested to create a video like how to use it. Uh, so basically, we are here. Uh, I have created a folder called Chakra 2. And you have to just open in, a, in your VS code and just uh, install the uh, React package. That is, you have to uh, write the command npx create React app and your app name. <clears throat> so I'm just going to install in this uh, folder itself. So I'm just giving dot slash. So let it uh, like just wait for installation. Okay, I'm pausing the recording. So React is installed now. Uh, so we have to go to the Chakra website. So simply just go and type Chakra UI in your Chrome browser. And you will get the first website of chakraui.com. Okay. Just simply open it and just click on get started. You will see this command that is npm i. It will install all the chakra dependencies which we which we needed in our project. Okay, just copy it and just paste in your terminal, something like that, and just press enter. It will install all the chakra dependencies. So let uh wait for installation, okay. So now, as you can see, the chakra wise is, is installed and now we can simply just uh, go to the app.js and we can simply remove these things like header and all the things. <clears throat> and we are going to run our application first. So npm start. So it will take some time like 5 to 10 seconds to start. And once it gets started, uh, we will work on the next thing. Okay. <clears throat> so let's wait. Is the server has started on localhost 3000 and now I will write something here like sorrow and you will see there it will get reflected okay you can see my name here so that means our project is running fine and now just go to the index.js we are going to wrap our app component with chakra provider right <clears throat> so you have to just say chakra provider and you have to just wrap your app component and this is done this is what we have to do only right so uh, let's just pause the recording also you can see here they have given the clear instruction like how we can add in your index.js file like you have to wrap your app component or rest of your application with chakra provider right and you are done that's it uh, you have to do something like that now we have to just click on components you will see so many components here like aspect ratio box center flag grade buttons and all so <clears throat> let's just uh, take a look like what does box do so basically box is a simple div component okay you use div component in a, a simple react uh, so there is a box okay also <clears throat> they have given a flex container like you don't have to write a style for you know flex and all and <clears throat> uh, you can simply use flex container so i'm gonna show you some examples so suppose <clears throat> let's go to the app.js okay and now i'm going to use your box component okay box so you can see here it is given the recommendation from box from chakra if i just click on it and i'm gonna write a name simply and you will see here, uh, my name is uh, simply uh, printing here. Okay. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let's just try to uh, use Flexbox. Okay. Suppose I'm going to write something called Ankit here. Okay. And you will see that it is actually, uh, because it is a simple text, that's why it's coming in uh, inline style. So what, what I will do, I will simply uh, wrap it with a simple P tag. And you will see, not P, I'll just call simply D. Okay, just uh, try to wrap it with simply D. Sort of. And unclick. Right. <clears throat> now, if you see, it will come one by one, like uh, because D is a you know block level component. 
so basically it will uh, never going to come beside the saurav it will always go, go below the saurav okay so uh, but if you want to you know uh, make it a uh, in a flex type then you have to just simply write a inline style or you know simply css to do that like simply display flex and you will see so display flex and it you will see it will it will be now side by side right something like that but instead of using this display flex and all uh, the chakra by uh, itself provide a flex box okay just simply uh, you can remove this style and change this box to flex and you will still see the same effect you can see the flex is imported from the chakra UI and you will see the same effect right like you don't have to write any uh, external css for making that style okay you can just use uh, simply flex if they say if uh, uh, same as you can use grid sim uh, simple grid stack stack is basically <clears throat> It's a simple stack, like you, you can use vertical stack, horizontal stack. So if you want to use vertical stack, you can simply write V stack here, okay? V stack and you will see V stack is important, uh, imported. So uh, now we will see this, if this is coming vertically, right? And if you want to use, uh, like if you want them to be aligned horizontally, you have to just simply write at stack. And you will see that it will now come horizontally. And they have also some gap. It, it is given by itself by uh, stack. Okay, stack component. So this is the, this is really useful, uh, like uh, CSS library, like uh, Chakra UI is very useful. And the same, like if you want to use buttons, okay. Uh, you can simply just, you know, uh, give something like this. Like they have different types of buttons you can use uh, like simply I, if I just copy them, okay. And you will see different types of buttons here. If I just paste them here and simply just import it, whatever they are asking for stack button. Okay. <clears throat> and <clears throat> here you can see, this is a stack uh, component. You, you can give a direction row or column. Okay. So it is right, right now row. So it will look horizontally. And now you can see on your screen, on local there, you can see different types of buttons are coming. Uh, same, uh, and they have given the stylings all. You can also see uh, props, like what kind of props they have inside a button. Okay, here, uh, if you go here, props, you can see different types of props, a different type of function also they have given. So it is a very great library, okay. Uh, if you want something like, uh, if I just go there, okay. Just wait. If you want a drawer, suppose you want a drawer in your project, a uh, side drawer. So just go there. You can see here, this is a drawer. So if you click on it, it will open a side drawer. So you don't have to do anything. Just copy the imports. Just remove this, paste it here. Okay. And just remove the all and you have to go there something like this just copy this okay okay uh, yeah and just paste it here and just import the buttons right here and it will now okay they are also asking for some states so you can see here they have given some states and i'll just copy it and paste it here and just import the discloser okay and use ref so instead of react dot user you can simply import it from there. and it is also asking for input so i think there is an input box so just import this also from chakra UI. and now you will see you have a simple drawer here okay so if you click on it you can see in your project there is a draw so it is that's how you can use chakra why it is very simple right and they, they have so many things like menu modal so you can also test here like how they are working so if you click on it it will work, uh, look something like this pop over if you 
simply you know just trigger it will some uh, look something like this and tooltip tooltip you know it will give when you hover it will give some information something like this okay hover me and all and they have so many things right tabs something like that one two and they are very easy to use you can use in your project is very simply right accordions you can see your accordion you know this is something you needed sometime okay and toast so if you if you want to show some information like uh, account created okay something like this or anything so toast you can see the this is coming from site and okay the spinner different kind of spinner they have okay so they have so many things you can use in this and you can simply learn it from it. They have also given some, you know, a styling thing. You can make your custom styles. Also, they have given uh, uh, everything for night mode also. Okay. You can simply click on it, something like this. Like if, if, if by using Chakra, you can simply implement night mode, dark mode in your application, right? So you can explore more. Uh, thank you for watching this video. We'll, be, we'll meet in the next week. Thanks.